Hi, I'm Angel at the Fairway Branch, and today I will show you how to make mini dotted canvases. This is a grab and go craft that you can pick up at the Fairway Branch Library, and supplies are limited, so come pick yours up today. For today's craft, you will receive a mini canvas, some light blue paint, some darker blue paint. A sheet that has some shapes printed on it for you to cut out and a pencil. Today's craft is very simple. You're going to take your sheet of shapes and this is really just kind of to use as a stencil as a guide but um, don't feel limited to the shapes that we have here. I gave you a star, a heart, a circle, and a square and really it's just to give you a guide so that you can put it in the center of your canvas when you make your dots um, to cut them out you will also need a pair of scissors and for today's craft I kind of started with the heart but then as I went along I decided to just kind of freehand it and change it up and I might add a little more paint to it later because that's the cool thing about art you can always add a little more but once you cut out your shape you will use it on top of your canvas, kind of put it in your canvas wherever you would like. You can go with just a simple shape in the middle, or you can go kind of off to the side, down into the corner. You don't have to stick to one shape if you like to. Just kind of have an idea of how you would want um, your canvas to look. Once you've placed um, your shape, you will take your pencil, and we're going to use the eraser, eraser to make the dots on the canvas. So you're going to dip it in the blue and the, the regular blue and the light blue paint to help you create the kind of shape that you want to create so that you have a dotted canvas. So for mine, I kind of started with the heart and then I decided that I wanted to do something a little different. So I added a little more dots because I wanted it to be kind of ambiguous. Um, I wanted people to kind of look at it and say, hey, that's kind of a heart, kind of a circle. Um, but also feel completely free to freehand it and just try some things, um, alternate some colors and do some things differently. If you look at your instruction sheet, I gave you a few examples of the kind of art that other people have made using this style. So just um, use your creativity and try a few things and see what you like best and what works for you. I hope you enjoyed today's craft and come see us again soon. Bye!